Uh, greetings, YouTubers and live videoers. It's me, Wayman29. Just figured I would come on YouTube and talk about some interesting things that I've been thinking about. Yeah, I happen to see uh, a lot of uh, interesting stuff going on on YouTube. Uh, dealing with Exile and all those people. However, as I said before, I decided not to get involved. It's just a lot of stress. So, but I just find the whole issue kind of funny and interesting. Anyways, uh, moving on to the topic that I wanted to talk about comes from a really old war hymn. I've talked about it before, Judges 4 and 5, which is the song of Deborah. And uh, Judges 4 is the explanation of Judges 5. Judges 5 is actually the Holy War hymn, the song of Deborah. And the topic is going to be about hero women of the biblical text. And a lot of times, especially in the law codes, women are portrayed um, not in a very good light. However, the literature speaks differently. There are a lot of hero women in the Bible. So we're going to talk about two women who were kind of like holy warriors or women who did favors for Israel and saved them when nobody else could or when nobody else had any ideas. So first we're going to talk about Jael, J-A-E-L, the wife of Heber, the Kenite, of tent-dwelling women most blessed. And uh, the poetry reading of this is, is really beautiful. And the way that she kills um, her enemy, uh, Sisera, who was fleeing from... Uh, the Israeli army and uh, he was being chased and he comes to her tent because uh, her family were friends with Sisera and he asks for shelter and she gives him shelter she covers him up he asks for water this is uh, Judges 5.25 you can read Judges 4 it's, it's a better explanation it's not in poem form but he asked for water, 525, he asked for water, she gave him milk, she brought him curds in a lordly bowl. She put her hand to the tent peg, and her right hand to the workman's mallet. And she struck Sisera's, Sisera a blow, she crushed his head, she shattered and pierced his temple. He sank, he fell, he lay at her feet, at her feet he sank, he fell, where he sank he there he fell dead. So then we get the uh, this, uh, explanation how this happens. Judges 4.19 And he said to her, Pray, give me a little water to drink for I'm thirsty. So she opened a skin of milk and gave him a drink and covered him. And he said to her, Stand at the door of the tent and if any man comes and asks you, is anyone here say no? But Jael's wife of Heber took a tent peg and took a hammer in her hand and went softly to him and drove the tent peg into his temple till it went down into the ground as he was laying fast asleep from weariness. So he died. And behold, as Barak pursued Sisera, Jael went out to meet him and said to him, Come, and I will show you the man whom you are seeking. So he went out to her tent, and there lay Sisera dead, with the tent pig in his temple. So that's uh, one uh, account. There's another one. Uh, just let me bring it up here. It's uh, Judith. I mentioned it before. Uh, 
I believe it is in uh, Judith 13. She was a very beautiful woman. The Assyrians were surrounding the city of Jerusalem for a long time. Nobody had any good ideas. Everybody was scared to go out and fight the Assyrian king. And of course, the Assyrian king is very boastful. So Judas dresses up all pretty and her and her handmaiden go down, hang out with the king of Assyria. And she's so beautiful and he wants to sleep with her. So she gets him drunk and he goes to sleep. Now Judith, uh, this is Judith 13.3 out of the Revised Standard Version Apocrypha. So everyone, now Judith, this is 13.3, now Judith had told her maid to stand outside the bedchamber and wait for her to come out, as she did every day. For she said she would be going out for her prayers, and she said, and she had said the same thing to Bagos. So everyone went out, and no one, either small or great, was left in the bed chamber. Then Judah, standing behind, beside his bed, said in her heart, O Lord of all might, look in this hour upon the work of my hands for the exalt exaltation of Jerusalem. For now is the time to help my inheritance and to carry out my undertaking for the destruction of the enemies who have risen up against us. And she went up to the post at the end of the bed above Holofernes' head and took down his sword that hung there. And she came close to his bed, took hold of his hair of his head and said, Give me strength this day, O Lord God of Israel. And she struck the neck twice with all her might and severed it from his body. Then she tumbled his body off the bed and pulled down the canopy from the post. After a moment she went out and gave Holofer's head to her maid who placed it in her food bag and the two of them went out together as they were accustomed to go for prayer and they passed through the camp and circled around the valley and went up to the mountain to Bethulah and came to its gates. So there we have a interesting um, slice and dice episode. And um, it's an interesting comparison. Um, there's other women heroes such as Esther and Ruth who impacted the survival of um, Israel and have become great legends. So hopefully you enjoyed that. And uh, take care, YouTubers. And take care of each other.